It's no exaggeration to say that computers are now part of our everyday lives. We use them for work, play, and everything in between. And yes, the development is accelerating, but at some point, physics will step in and things will start to slow down. Classical computers are approaching their physical and computational limits. So many companies are looking into being the first to bring quantum computing to commercial viability. Imagine computations that would take our current systems years or even decades to complete, done in minutes. And that, folks, is what Rigetti Computing is trying to accomplish. But is it a groundbreaking company with a viable product or just a speculative gamble? Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, my name is Rick Orford and I help investors like you make informed decisions. And while I'm not a financial advisor, I have been trading stocks and options since 1999. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and finding the next best investment. By the way, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insights and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and finding the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by more than five times, and you can scan this QR code or visit fool.com slash rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. Now, before we begin, you might be asking, what is quantum computing? Well, unlike traditional computing where data is represented in bits like zeros and ones, quantum computing uses something called quantum bits or qubits that can exist in multiple states at the same time, meaning zero, one, or both. It sounds like such a small thing, but potential applications for this are enormous if you can scale it up. Since qubits can process many possibilities at one time, quantum computers have the theoretical ability to solve problems that would take even the fastest supercomputers millions of years to accomplish. However, quantum computing does have its limits. Qubits are notoriously fragile, and keeping them stable long enough to perform meaningful calculations is one of the field's biggest challenges. They also require specialized environments, such as those with close to absolute zero temperatures, which is not exactly realistic for the typical computer user. This, and all other problems that come with quantum computing, is what Rigetti Computing is trying to solve. The company was founded way back in 2013 by Chad Rigetti, a physicist who formerly worked for IBM's quantum computing group. The company went public in April of 2021, and today they focus on building full-stack quantum classical computing solutions. The company currently offers quantum computing as a service, or QCAAS, through its Rigetti Computing Cloud Service platform, and that serves global businesses, governments, and research institutions. Their main products are the 9-qubit Novera QPU and the 84-qubit ANCA 3 system. So we've established that Rigetti is at the cutting edge of computing, which is very exciting for some investors. But what kind of picture do the financials paint? Well, we need to consider that Rigetti is in the R&D phase, so the financials are not going to look very pretty. Expenses are accelerating, of course, so its annual losses are coming in higher and higher every year, with the company reporting a $201 million net loss in fiscal 2024. But that's somewhat to be expected. Rigetti's pushing for quantum computing commercialization, so understandably the company will spend more on R&D uh, while on its way to get to the goal. By the way, the data used in this video is powered by Bar Chart. It's one of my favorite tools that lets you find data on thousands of stocks and tickers and allows you to filter them by price, volume, sector, and more so you can find winning opportunities in seconds. I use it every single day, and you can set up a free account by scanning this QR code or click the link in the description. Okay, so now let's talk about the company's pros and cons, or what I like to call the bull and bear cases, and we'll start with the latter. As I mentioned earlier, Rigetti has been burning through cash at a concerning rate. 
and that's expected for an early quantum computing company, though it still represents a risk and makes investors question if it can actually come up with a feasible path to profitability. Well, worst comes to worst, I think the company can sell more shares or take on more debt, which will strain its balance sheet and, of course, reduce fiscal flexibility. So Rigetti will need to demonstrate a more significant or at least more significant process to enhance its chances and improve its attractiveness to risk adverse investors. Now, disruptors like Rigetti also have tight competition with them as well. And quantum computing is one of those battlefields. Rigetti is racing against several companies, including IonQ, D-Wave, and quantum computing. And some of these companies may have more cash flow while others may be ahead already by a few years. But overall, the good news is that pretty much all of them are operating pretty much at a similar level in terms of age, development, and cash. The bad news, however, is that competition is fierce. Tech giants like IBM, NVIDIA, Google, Microsoft, and more are developing their own quantum computers. And unlike Rigetti, these massive companies will have no problem diverting all of the resources necessary to outpace the competition. By the way, are you interested in me covering any of the big tech stocks through a quantum computing lens? Well, join my Discord channel and let me know because I'd love to hear from you. Now, while Rigetti and other companies have made significant strides in developing their chips, the path to commercial adoption of quantum computing is still unclear. It, today, it's still more suited to high-level computing simulations, which require specialized hardware and an extensive auxiliary infrastructure to run efficiently. As an example of this, I mentioned earlier that the requirement is to run in near-zero temperatures, which demands a lot of energy to be maintained 24-7. Google's VP of Engineering, Harmit Nevin, mentioned that quantum computing may have real-world applications within five years. However, NVIDIA's CEO is more, a little more conservative in that regard, noting that quantum computing is probably 15 to 20 years away, likening today's quantum computing to NVIDIA's pre-revenue days. So realistically, it's going to be a long, tough road for Rigetti. Now, let's get to the company's bull case, and this is what investors like you should be excited about, or at least cautiously excited about. Rigetti has made great strides in quantum hardware, noting its recent launch of the 84-qubit Anka 3. Its main feature is achieving a 99.5% median 2-qubit gate fidelity, and this is a key metric indicating the accuracy of quantum operations. ANCA 3 has overall improved thermal stability, reduced error rates, and better control, allowing for more complex quantum operations. Though we'll still need to wait and see the practical applications of its products, it's encouraging that Rigetti is pushing its technology forward. The company has also secured government contracts in both the United States and United Kingdom, a sign that their technology does have a viable market. The recent quarterly press release mentions participating in the Quantum Benchmarking Initiative for DARPA, which will run for six months to showcase its utility-scale quantum computer concept. It was also awarded a $5.48 million grant by the Air Force's Office of Scientific Research to lead a consortium aimed at advancing its chip fabrication process, and a £3.5 million grant from Innovate UK's Quantum Missions, which aims to advance quantum error correction capabilities. Lastly, the company has finalized a strategic investment agreement with Quanta Computer Incorporated, resulting in a $35 million equity investment. These public and private capital investments can help Rigetti keep itself afloat while it moves towards commercial viability. And of course, I'd have to mention the speculative nature of Rigetti's field. Like AI just a few years ago, quantum computing is a buzzword that generates considerable interest. It captures investors' imaginations, fueling the fires of speculative buying, which we've seen a lot in the past year. And to put things into perspective, the company was trading at 66 cents in September 2024. 
Since then, it's risen to an intraday high of $21.42 in January of 2025, before settling at its current price of around $12. Even with the price dip, that's more than 1,000% growth in less than a year. And when was the last time you saw a stock 10xing in the last year? With technology moving to the next big thing, there's a lot of speculation around quantum computing and Rigetti. So it's no surprise that analysts rate Rigetti stock a strong buy. And while it may be practical to bet on quantum computing through a more established player like NVIDIA or Microsoft, investing in Rigetti can potentially bring a bigger upside in the long run. So if you want to jump in on quantum computing, and you're looking for a stock, you may just want to consider RGTI. Just know that the technology is still in its early stages, and a lot can happen in the next few years. But what do you think about Rigetti Computing? Do you think it's going to take off, or do you think that the stock is going to fizzle out before achieving adoption? And are there any other quantum computing stocks that you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I wanted to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, give this like a video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.